talked about legality and talked about land access, but in terms of a hack, we ended up deciding that we should um, talk about that. And um, the, the problem that um, I presented that is also applicable to community gardens, um, but what, what's affecting you specifically is that we have raised beds that are flush to the ground, but we have rats that are getting in and burrowing in the beds themselves and making them their homes. Um, and the issue is, I mean, there's, there's lots of things we've tried, but we really want to find something that is to encourage education, to encourage students to get engaged, something that's aesthetically pleasing and that they'll want to um, actually use and that also is accessible. So you can't like put some giant cage over that you can't actually physically get into. Um, then when you talk about access, you also have to look into safeties, which is a huge thing on the school or, or in community gardens. So um, those are kind of our barriers. I, I can't, I don't even know what you wrote, but I think that that covers what we were trying to solve. Right. More or less. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And so this is something uh, from our organization, SCQ. We built this greenhouse in the backyard because we had squirrels that broke through the fence in our kitchen and started munching on fruit on the counter. So we knew putting them outside, there were stray cats, squirrels, there's also raccoons um, in the area that can get to it. So built it uh, simple wood, uh, hardware cloth covering the entire thing so you can still see it. And um, yeah, and we, we, it's changed now so that there's actually um, beds in there and on two different levels. So this is a solution where it's accessible, you can walk into it, um, it can cover the beds, um, and also depending, but some of the uh, issues with something like this, depending on your space, um, affordability, I mean it's pretty much low cost uh, for that. And then some of the other strategies we also came up with is putting an actual cage over each raised bed. Um, but it would have to have a latch system so it wouldn't, the rats, all the rodents wouldn't be able to get under it. But then... Um, it's made out of landscape cloth. Right, made out of landscape cloth. So a combination between a uh, cold frame Which and isn't cloth, which I should know, but I didn't know. No, sorry, hardware cloth. Hardware cloth. Oh, okay, yeah. we kept calling it hardware landscape cloth. Oh, we call it hardware. Hardware is what, hardware is what got me caught up. Fabric. This uh, is landscape it, Right, right, I know that. Okay, I know that. And hardware oh, cloth is like super fine chicken wire. That's chicken wire. That's what is on here. So that kept catching yeah. me. Yeah, it's 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 around the entire. But you guys will know that. So I'll just jump in really quick and summarize the rest, which is that we made this beautiful page on the forum under NYC Farm Hack, and it summarizes our entire discussion and it talks about it in terms of the parameters and lists some resources for understanding your enemy. And then um, the basic strategies that we were, I mean, conceptualizing around, which were limiting access, limiting food sources, limiting habitat. Um, and then finally, we talked about scales of intervention. So, you know, the greenhouse is at one scale, the garden wide scale is another one. And then we started getting down to the scale of the plant bed or the soil itself and all of the challenges and problems that you might encounter along the way. So I would encourage any of you who have input to go to the edit side and add um, into this and add different resources that you might have so that basically if somebody has a rat problem, they could come here and be like, where do I fit in in terms of infrastructure and cost and labor? And then it would become a resource. We weren't able to get too much deeper into design, but I think we kind of covered the larger conceptual and material issues at hand. Nice. So, Is someone sending this to Jay? Who's also in Jay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Great. Done. So this um, would just kind of at least help you know where to start thinking uh, and prototyping, I guess. And so that's and it. We also yeah. discussed, you know, learning about rat psychology and contacting your local rat yes. for The uh, <laughs> RIP, the Rat Information Portal, is it? <laughs> Right. <laughs> 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 no, but I learned something today about the uh, rats like to come in, uh, make their burrows, and they can look out. So and can that's jump. that's an interesting fact that would change your time. So, <laughs> nice. thank you. Yay. Yay.